Hey guys, Sock here from Sock eTech, and in today's video, we have some great news. One UI 6.0 beta number seven is now out for Samsung Galaxy S23 devices. So let's go down over here, go to software update, and go to last update. I already applied my update. And if I scroll down, you can see the update size is sizable. It is 710 megabytes. It does still have the October 1st security patch. And the version ending on this one is ZWJC. Now, if we go back up here, you can see we have a lot of bugs that were fixed again. So that's gonna make the phone even better and closer to the final version. We're gonna come back and look at these in a second. Let me just see how the overall system now feels. So let's uh, scroll back and forth, okay? Let's launch some applications, okay? Nice and smooth, just like the last time. All right, let's launch one more. Okay, that's all cool. Let's pull down the notifications panel right here and then control center, okay? There's no change here, it's exactly the same as before. Very nice and fluid, all right? Beautiful, let's go this way, fantastic. Go to the settings, do some scrolling. Nice and snappy, very nice, all right. So again, One UI Beta 6 was pretty good already. This is just incrementally better. Going back into the settings, all right? Now, one more thing you wanna do before I look at the bug fixes is, even, if, even though this is a beta, just go into security, which should be up here somewhere, okay? And just make sure you go into updates right here and tap on Google Play System Update to make sure that is up to date as well. You can see, even though it had a check mark for some reason, it is not actually up to date. So tap on download and install. It's gonna ask you to restart. You're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna skip it for, for now. Actually, okay, there we go. So it's asking me to restart. I'm not gonna do that right now. But uh, let's go back into the software update, tap on last update, and look at what's going on here. Bugs that have been fixed. So they fixed the issue that quick panel sometimes cannot be opened on home screen. So that's been resolved. So when you pull this down, sometimes it just didn't work. Never had that problem myself, but looks like some people had it, so they fixed it. Improved screen blinking sometimes when rotating horizontally or vertically. So when you go from portrait to landscape orientation, the blinking has been improved. So everything just looks smoother and faster. Uh, improved boot slow encryption call algorithm. No idea what that means. If you do, drop a comment down below and let me know. Fix the issue that long input of volume key is not recognized during proximity sensor operation. So again, I never had that problem, but looks like that's been fixed as well. Fix the issue that navigation bar gesture cannot be touched. Then it says slow further improvement. Maybe that's a little typo here. Uh, so the navigation bar gesture is this thing at the bottom, I guess. So now it can be touched or something. Not sure. Again, if you know what that means, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Now, here we have many improvements to the camera crash and failure. So, of course, because it's a beta, people were having some camera crashing problems. In my case, I did not actually, okay? But some people were definitely having that problem, even from some of the messages that I got. So you can see the camera is working perfectly fine, super smooth, all right? So that's great. And then what we have is we have many other improvements. Of course, it is a 700 megabyte update. There's many other bugs that are not as important as these ones that were fixed as well. So again, this phone is getting closer and closer to the final version. Love what I'm seeing here with the new quick panel, with the overall smoothness and stability. And also, you know, even small changes they made in the system here, they're all nice. Mostly it all looks the same, but when you do go inside, for example, device care, you do see some new things like auto optimization in the forefront, instead of being hidden on the corner here in the settings, okay? Now it is right here. And also, like we said, you are able to actually pick a schedule on restarting your phone periodically, which is very important for Android phones to run at full capacity. So a little stuff like that here and there is amazing. But truly, nothing is cooler than this music animation right over here. You can collapse it, expand it, get this beautiful look. Same on the lock screen. It is definitely one of my favorites. It's showing up right here. With a light wallpaper and this animation here, the phone just looks amazing. All right, but that's it. Uh, if you have noticed anything extra beyond what we covered in the video or the bugs fixed list of the official log, 
drop a comment down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?